As we have developed uh, these theories in uh, Piaget, we have looked at the development of schemata. We have talked about stages of development. Now we just want to share with you some of the issues that are that may affect uh, cognitive development or that may either enhance or impede cognitive development. One of those is maturation level. In this, we mean how old is the individual? At what physical stage are they and they develop in their development? Um, for example, you know, people think, well, you need to teach algebra to a, a five-year-old. Well, most five-year-olds are not physically ready yet to learn algebra. Uh, I've seen people that tried to learn it in ninth grade, did eighth or lunch, and then ten years later it was a whole lot easier. That was because that they had matured to the level to where they were ready to master algebra. So the maturity level, the physical maturity of the individual makes a great deal of difference. Another thing that might affect or have an effect upon cognitive development is the experience or exposure level. Uh, a person who has a computer may have an advantage over one who doesn't. Uh, I'm amazed today at these little young children and the things that they can do. Uh, my three-year-old grandson runs into the house and jumps on my Macintosh, wants to go to YouTube and listen to the Green Anaconda song. Uh, that experience or exposure to technology will have a, a dramatic effect upon his development. What about their exposure to education and to those who are educated? What about their life experiences? Uh, would it make a difference if they had been to different places and seen different lands? Well, certainly it would. Another deal is social interaction and their interface with numerous people. Oh, if a child just went and lived in a cave and didn't ever get to see anybody, that child might not have the opportunity to develop at the level that a child who has had a lot of social interaction with people of different ages. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the complaints about public school today is that all of the children are of the same age and they and children don't get to really know those of different ages. Sometimes knowing old folks can be pretty neat and that's why when you carry your kids over to stay with your parents, uh, you convince them that those kids need to be exposed to old people so therefore they'll be staying the weekend with the grandparents. Another issue is that of effective development. Um, how happy an individual is. Do they do they have a supporting environment that has accepted them? That that has a lot of bearing upon their cognitive development. A big smile like that just you know who knows what this little pig here could learn if he were he or she were turned loose. The last of these issues is that of equilibration. Uh, what Piaget referred to here is the fact that all of these other issues uh, are in balance. Their maturity, their experiences, their social interaction, and their effective domain. You know, what he was doing is emphasizing the fact that life a lot of times is about balance. That, In other words, one area is not substantially neglected while another area is, uh, is in absolute abundance. So equilibration is, is very important in development. Well, I hope you're enjoying these little lecturettes. We'll continue on soon with some other things for you to do in Module 1, such as your discussion areas and your group assignments. Thank you.